Witchy Wonders. This is a book review of Witch. Witchy Wonders, all I can say is, oh my goddess. Oh my goddess. OMG. Oh my goddess. This book, Witch, Unleashed. What does it say? Unleashed, untamed, unapologetic. If I could only tell you how delicious this book is, I want to literally eat it. I mean delicious. Lisa Lister, I had not heard of her before this book. I, After reading... I have gone to search her out, watched her on YouTube and interviews. I have gone to her website. Pardon me, Lisa Lister, if I am cyber stalking you at this point. <laughs> but this is delish. This book, which unleashed, untamed, unapologetic. Now I'm going to share with you. Three specific things that I absolutely love, 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 love about this book. And a big, big, big shout out to go. As you can see, I have, I, I'm writing in it with my purple pen, highest vibrating color. I am, I am going to share with you three things that I absolutely love about this book. This book, if you are a witch or if you know a witch, this, this is a game changer. This is probably one of the best books written by which I have ever read in my life. That's a tall order because I read tons of books. And I absolutely love Christopher Pinzak. You know, he's, oh, he's one of my favorite writers on witchcraft. And this was, this one is The Living Temple of Witchcraft. I absolutely love, 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 love this book. Now, not to compare, they're different books because his is definitely a compendium of uh, just deliciousness, deliciousness, this book. Oh, look, look at one of my cards that I have in here. It's, um, do you like her? Can you see her? Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She's a witch with a dragon. I have a dragon as well. <laughs> yep, I got a dragon. All right, so three things I want to share with you about this book. First of all, she says the same thing that, that, you ever meet a person or you ever read something that speak in your soul? This book is speaking my soul. So she, this is the first thing that I love about this book. Pardon me if I'm all over the place because I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be talking about this book and sharing it with you that I, I just really need to collect, collect myself. Here's the first thing that I absolutely love about this book. She says, call yourself a witch. And that's exactly what I say as well. That in the book, she actually states that she receive just from the goddess a very similar assignment to what sounded like my assignment and that is uh of course raising women raising the evolutionary um raising consciousness on planet earth earth of course and especially with women and especially awakening that inner wild woman now i want to let you know that i'm reading these two books at the same time Women Who Run With the Wolves. It is very fascinating how Spirit bought me both of these books at the same time because both these books are almost saying the exact same thing in different wordology. And here's what one of the things I love about this, this book. The first thing is, she says, call yourself a witch. The second thing is that correlates to Women Who Run With the Wolves is that a witch is a wild woman as well as this book talks about being wild. What does wild mean? Wild does not mean destructive. Wild does not mean all over the place. Wild does not mean any of the negative things that we have been taught wild means. Oh, get over here, child. You're so wild. I heard that a lot when I was growing up. <laughs> when I was off somewhere, you know, in my daydream world or talking to spirits or looking at a flower for like seven hours <laughs> Whatever I was doing when I was little, all kinds of things like that that people told me was so weird. And I was like, I don't, they just used to look at me and say, child, what is, what is with that child? And sometimes I was called, 
uh, I was called wild by a lot of people, even when I grew up. And this is what wild mean. Wild does not mean any of those things that are negative and derogatory. Wild means untamed. Wild means pure and pristine as created by the divine. Wild means unfettered with the constructs of humanity. Wild means in its natural state. Mount Everest is wild. A redwood tree is wild. See, you can't tame Mount Everest. People try to climb to the top of Mount Everest, and some of them get there and many of them don't. See, Mount Everest is wild. You cannot control Mount Everest. You cannot put Mount Everest under your thumb. Mount Everest is not trying to do anything to you. Mount Everest is simply being the majestic, splendid, pure, pristine, wild Mount Everest. See, a redwood tree and you go in the redwood forest, that's wild. A wolf out in its natural habitat is wild. Wild means, once again, unconditioned by society. And so many women are conditioned by society. We have allowed society to tame us. Be nice. Share with other people. Cross your legs. Cover your knees. Put on a long skirt. Shh, don't talk. Calm, settle down now. Oh, give some to your brother. Oh, haven't we been conditioned to not be wild? Not destructive, simply wild. Untamed, unabashed, unconditioned in our pure, natural, wild state that we were born, created in. This book invites us home to the wildness. Third thing I love about this book is that she teaches there's a witch in every woman and that witch really is a woman who's coming to her power. That's what's really about. Now, I'll share a little bit about my life as well here. I had two husbands. Um, one, both of them, one just let me run the show. The second one was just determined to try to tame me and that wasn't happening. So I decided that husbands weren't for me. I now understand why. Because the societal ideas of husband and wife is somewhat, there's a connotation, even in marriages where people are very equal, there's many marriages where people are equal. If that's your marriage or if that's marriages you know of, Great. We're not talking about those marriages. We're talking about the marriage like the marriage I was in. The marriage I was in, there was this scripture that my husband used to throw at me a lot. Uh, that used to that was from Philippians or Corinthians, one someplace in the Bible where Paul was talking about a wife is supposed to listen to her husband. A wife is supposed to be submissive to her husband. A wife is supposed to be subjective to her husband. And that never set well with me. And when I read this, I understood why. And it was not that I was wanting to usurp his power as a man. Absolutely not. I revere the divine feminine and I honor the divine masculine. I am the goddess. The one that I am with, he is the god. He is the divine masculine. I am the divine feminine. I love my goddessness and my queendom. And he loves his godness and his kingdom. So we're not talking about usurping someone else's territory. We're talking about standing fully in your own power and your own knowing and your own wisdom. I'm going to throw in a bonus uh, thing that I love about what she talks about in this book. The womb. The womb. The pussy power. The punani power. See, so many women, and I agree with her because I work with a lot of women, so many women have not truly tapped into and rooted into pussy to the earth like she says and pulled up that punani power work that pussy power that yoni power and that yoni i'll tell you one thing there's a reason why they fight in wars over yonis it's because a yoni can move a mountain <laughs> I go back to what Betty White said. She said, I don't know why when they want people to be tough, they said, you know, get some balls. She said, they should say, get a vagina. Those things really take a pounding. You know, Betty White was right. So 
we'll conclude with this absolutely get this book i will absolutely if you look at my copy you see that i've just got marks and and just all kinds of oh my goodness uh all kinds of just i'm in love with this book hashtag wake the witches if you're a witch come on wake up let's do this thing it's now time all the witches are all over are waking wake the witches and absolutely get the book witch by lisa lester superb love you reverend valerie love valerielove.com peace